Hello and welcome to this uh, video on Unity 3D C Sharp and this is lesson 8 on um, local and global variables. Well what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, let me go ahead and just clear this here. I'm going to come here and I'm going to create a new C Sharp script and I'm going to call it my global G-L-O-B-A-L and I'm going to hit the enter key. Okay, I'm going to come up here, double click, and open it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to point out something. I have this public class my global. Okay, and that goes from here on the top to here. Inside this class, I have two functions. I have a function function called void start. I have another function called void update. What I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable within this function. I'm going to call it int and I'm going to give it the variable identifier of x that's very original and I'm going to set it equal to 50. And just to make sure that I've done everything okay, okay, I'm going to print it. Okay, print x and then I'm going to make sure I put the semicolon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to close it and I have to remember to put it, the my global attach it to something in the hierarchy and attach it to my camera. I'm going to make sure that's the only thing on my camera is that script and there it is my global. I'm now going to run it make sure that this is not maximized on play make sure I got my console. I'm going to run it and when I run it, I see the value of 50. So I know it works. I'm now going to come back to my global, double click on it. And what I'm going to do down here is I'm also going to do on void update, I'm also going to print X. So in update, this updates itself every frame. So I should keep seeing 50, 50, 50, 50. Because I declared the variable up here in this function, and I printed it in this function, and then I'm printing the same variable that I declared in this function down here in this other function. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this here. And whoops, I get an error. And if I look down here, it says my global uh, C sharp. On line 14, column 16, there's an error. The name X does not exist in the current context. What's it talking about? Line 14, it says X does not, the variable does not exist in the current context. That's this line right here. It doesn't understand what X is in this function. The function void update does not know what X is. However, the function void start does know what X is. The reason for that is because the declaration for X was made inside this function start. And since it was made inside this function, it is called a, um, this, whoops, this is a local variable, V-R-I-A-B-L-E which means it's known only locally to the function in which it is declared. Now, if I want it so that the variable declaration that, that I, I declare is known in all the functions within the class, I have to declare the variable outside of the functions. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to declare a new variable here. It's going to be int, and I'm going to call it y, and I'm going to set that equal to, say, uh, 45 just to give it a value. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and print y in this function. I'm going to come down here and also print y in this function. When I declare a variable outside of the functions it is called a global variable. This is a global variable. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, come over here, 
and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run it. And there it is, 45, 45, 45. I better stop it. Ooh, it's going nuts. But the point is, is that there, there's the first time 45 was printed, which is from the start function. And then the uh, update function uh, is what keeps printing it. So let's look and see what we have here. If I come over here to main camera, I come down here. There's my script as I've had before. That's the only thing I can see is my script. I double click on my global. And what I see here is that I have a global variable because it was declared outside of any function within that class. This is a local variable here and it was declared within one of the functions. A global variable, it is known by any function within that class. A local variable is known only by the function in which it is declared. Now, let us let me show you something pretty cool here. I'm going to type in uh, the reserve word public on the global variable. Just like I have up here, class is public. I'm going to type public here for this variable. And let's see what the difference is now. I'm going to come here, save it, come over here. I'm going to click on my uh, on main camera, and when I do, and I scroll down here, I now see there's my global variable. Why? And 45. That's the value I set it to. The reason why I can see it now in the inspector panel is because I made it public, which means I can address the value of that variable, and I clicked on it directly from uh, uh, from the inspector panel. So let me put a value of say uh, 89 in there and let me go ahead and run it now. And there it is, 89, 89, 89. Now the, the program is running and the question is, can I change this value while it's running? Let me put in uh, 54, 543. Yes, I can. So what I have now is I now have made my global variable, I've made it public. And when I make global variables public, that means they can be accessed directly uh, uh, without going through any of the functions, and yet they, they are affected by the, the variables within the functions. So by default, by default, if I don't put anything there, this is a private uh, variable. And I can also use the keyword private if I wish. I don't have to do that, but I can, and it'll, now I won't be able to see it. Now watch, I'll close this here. I won't be able to see it in the inspector panel. I'll come here to main camera, come down here, and if I look, see, I don't see it. I don't see Y anymore. It's still there, and this still works with the original value given, which was 45, but I don't observe it. I can't address it directly because it's a private uh, variable. So, if I leave the word private out, by default, it's still private. If I want to make it so I can address it directly uh, from the interface, I make it public. So what we've covered in this particular in this uh, video is we've covered local variables that are known only within the function. We covered global variables, which are known within any function that's within the class that uh, the, in which the global variable was declared. We covered public uh, global variables, uh, which can be addressed directly. And we covered private uh, global variables, which cannot be addressed directly. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.